In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to take this oversized thrifted 3X jersey and switch it up. Again, I did use a three, like I said, a three S thrift, thrifted jersey, but you don't have to use just a jersey. You can use a regular t-shirt if you really wanted to. And I'm using this dress to like show where I want to cut it, but I ended up switching to a bodysuit because the bodysuit had the just the perfect straps for it. So I'm just using this as a stencil. Well, like I said, you can use the bodysuit, you can use the dress, but I'm using this as a stencil. I'm just cutting around and make sure you leave some seam allowance so don't cut right next to the dress. Make sure you leave just a little bit more because when you sew it, it's gonna shrink. And you don't want it to be too small. Okay, cool, bet. Like I said it before, I did use the dress originally because I wanted it to be as short as that dress, but it didn't have the right kind of straps. So you see how like the ones before, this is so pointless, but anyways, you see the ones before it was like skinny. These are wide. I wanted mine to be like a wide kind of look. And now you see that I'm cutting like an inch away from the actual jumpsuit. Just make sure you cut off you, I mean, you leave some on because, like I said, once you cut off too much, you can't, like, go back or whatever the case may be. So, less is always more. You can always cut off more if it's too much, but you you can never put on. What? You <laughs> never put back some when it's, cut, when it's cut too short. Okay, I'm going to just let you watch it because I'm sounding like an idiot. <laughs> So once I cut the one side, I just flipped it in half just so I can make sure the other cut was going to be identical. But before I actually cut it, I pinned the act. This part was actually optional. I pinned the um, the two pieces, the two pieces of fabric. So the front and the back together just to make sure it didn't shift when I was cutting it. So, you know, it wouldn't be like all catty wonkers or whatever the case may be. But that's very optional. I was just kind of be I was I was kind of being really, really, really extremely careful. But you don't really need to do that. Okay? Once I finished those two main cuts, I went in one more time to the front. Um, you see, I did fold it in half again just so I can make sure the cuts is going to be identical. And I just wanted to snatch it in a little bit more in the waist. So that's what we did. Okay. 
this project was actually extremely easy so once you cut you just want to hem the actual sides so hemming is just basically you flipping the top part of the fabric over and you just putting a, a line of stitches down just to make it look more seamless now if you are a super duper beginner i feel like the eyelets that's the little silver parts that i added are kind of a little bit complicated the string that I got that I used to lace up the side of the dress, I got from Walmart and I got that from the hardware section. They got different colors, so if you didn't want the red kind, you could, you know, always switch it up. I only used one bundle of the string. I didn't even use all of it. And then I used about eight boxes of these large eyelets. These are also from Walmart and they were about $2 a box. This eyelet puncher, which is a little blue thing, the little pliers looking thing, I feel like is essential for you to be able to actually put the eyelets in. And that was about $20. Now applying the eyelets is the trickiest part. If you look closely, one of the eyelets openings is smaller than the other one. That's your top piece and the one with the bigger, bigger opening is the bottom piece. Now what you want to do is create a hole, whether it be with, a, with some scissors, you know, poking a hose with a pencil or whatever. I did my holes about an inch apart and you want to insert the top piece at the top and then flip the piece of fabric over and apply the bottom piece. Once you do that, you want to take your eyelet clamper and just clamp down on it and it's easy as that. I apply my eyelets on the front and the back lining of the shirt, that way you could lace it up. Um, to be totally honest with you though, if you are a beginner, applying the eyelets took me a very long time and it is kind of, I don't know, I feel like for beginners it's kind of hard to figure out. But I mean, you could you could do anything you put your mind to this, but you don't have to put the eyelets in there. I just did it just to make it, you know, pop a little bit. You can always just do some regular holes that lace her up on the side too. You don't need that. But this is what she looks like, nice and seamless, and then to make sure your fabric doesn't fray in the long run. This is what she looks like with all of the eyelets applied. This took me probably like an hour and a half it took so freaking long to do i don't know why but it looks so cute i'm so glad that i did apply them and after that i just laced it up with the um hardware string whatever you want to call it just and i laced it up like a um an actual shoe and that was that sis it came out so cute let me know if y'all like this and if you want to see more videos like this of course i got you what y'all want to see give me some ideas Thank you so much for watching, sis, and I'll see you in my next video.